Welcome back to our kitchen. We are so lucky to have our next guest here with us today. He is a celebrity chef and very familiar face to your TV screen. Chef George Duran, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me, guys. I hope you guys are hungry. Oh, this looks amazing. So tell us about your background as a chef. You know, I studied French cuisine, a very refined cuisine, but for me, it's all about comfort food. Mm -hmm. And I always say you eat with your eyes first. So it's got to look good, and then the flavor comes right there. This looks fabulous. It doesn't just look good. It looks amazing. Yeah. What's your secrets to making a spread like this so that we can enjoy our summer in a celebratory kind of way? Yeah, it's all about shortcuts in my house. I have two kids and you want to make sure that you have time to create delicious looking and tasting dishes. And that's what I'm here to show you guys. You ready? Awesome. Let's see these Let's recipes. Okay, so the first one is hummus, one of my favorite things to serve. And this is called the Stars and Stripes Hummus. As you can tell, I've made this incredible hummus and I'm using mighty sesame tahini. Now, what I love about this tahini, and I don't know how much you love tahini, Dr. D, but it's good for <laughs> you, but also tastes so good. This is the only squeezable tahini that I've seen. And that means that you can literally put it upside down, squeeze it and measure it right and put it in there. But it's creamy, it's delicious, and it's very convenient to have something like this with mighty sesame. So I made a stars and stripes hummus over there, and it's very simple. I've pretty much used the regular hummus, and then I added something like cooked beets from Beetology, and made it into the red stripes. The blue one is with cabbage and red onions, and you kind of go a little creative. It's kind of the, you know the holidays, the summer, fall. You want to go a little red, white, and blue. That's the way to make. Stars and Stripes hummus. That's amazing. I mean, you seem to gravitate towards easy but healthy options. I would think that was food coloring or something. And the fact that that is a beet, that is truly amazing. And I love hummus. It's my favorite. <laughs> so This is a fantastic recipe to go to. And then you want to get a little more like herbal, I want to say. Do you have an herb garden, Sarah, in your kitchen? I do. You do? Okay, do not basil. everybody does. That, you basil. Don't, you don't, not everybody does. And the convenience of having something like these Durot garden, garden cubes is the following. You turn it around and these are frozen cubes of herbs that you can literally open up and pop into each recipe. Whatever you're cooking, if it's an herb uh, pasta salad or any sort of soup, they have garlic, ginger, basil, parsley, you name it. But at all times, all year long, even when herbs aren't growing in your right. kitchen, you got the herbs right here with Dorot Gardens and they are set to go. So that's what I served with this beautiful, with pine nuts, tomatoes, and of course, plenty of those uh, Dorot Garden herbs. And then we're gonna go for the big spread, the big party, and that for me is a cheese board. And you have to have the right ingredients. Notice that red, white, and blue theme. I'm still continuing it with this. And you wanna be a little bit creative on how you put it together. So I even put blueberries in there, even some strawberries. So you wanna have some fruits and vegetables. And then I'm using, of course, absolutely gluten-free crackers. This is what I love about these crackers. Even if I'm not gluten-free, these are my favorite tasting crackers. They kind of go down easy. They taste amazing. They have numerous flavors like onion and everything bagel and the regular. But when you add it to a beautiful spread like this, it just makes a difference. It shows that you care about these people, about your guests and your family when you serve something like this. Well, what I love about this board is the adorable little stars. And it's just such that extra nudge of care, whether it be, you know, aesthetic or health wise. You know, it's a little bit of attention to detail yes. Um, yes. so if you do go and purchase some of these star cookie cutters when I go and purchase yes. some of these stars <laughs> yes it makes a world of a difference go in there cut the cheese up with this yeah. little cutter and you add it to your board and it just makes a difference may it be fresh cheese or I have this wonderful a Dutch masterpiece gouda over there mm. just kind of lay it all out and just dot it with these beautiful stars and the little reds and blues you're set to go so what I've noticed with having younger children at home it's presentation many times, they're gonna go for that blueberry and they're gonna go for that cheese that's shaped like a star because it's fun. Right. And if I just put that on a plate, they're not touching it. What did I say? You eat with your eyes first, the kids do too. If they like what they see, they're gonna eat it, especially if it's healthy. And speaking of fun, can oh, we yeah. get to my favorite yeah. end of this? Here's, here's where the adults <laughs> actually have fun. This is a Wonder Melon Sangria made with Wonder Melon Watermelon Drink. And first of all, we're going to make it all together over here. So we're going to start with the red inside of the sangria with the ice. And that, of course, is 
Help me out here. Strawberries. Yeah. That's right. Yes. The white, of course. Apples. That's right. And put Granny Smith apples in there. And of course, then the blue goes in there, which is blueberries. Very good. All right. So now help me out with these. We're going to add the alcohol, and then we'll go into the Wonder Melon. So we're going to add some wine. This is your typical sangria. A Sauvignon Blanc works great, but anything that you prefer. A little orange liqueur goes in there as well, mm -hmm. just like that. Beautiful. And my secret is a tiny bit of brandy, just to give it a little. Punch, you know, right when you when you drink it. But a here, bang. It's, it's a bang, a July, punch. So okay, it's a, it's yes, bang, very like good. A firework. All right, and now this is where Wonder Melon comes in. This is a watermelon cucumber basil drink, and it's. You know, honestly, there's no sugars added to it. Okay. That's what I love about it. But it's a great hack. It's almost a yeah. great way to start a cocktail or a drink. And you pour it right in there, and you get this beautiful red color in there. And those ingredients, just adding it just like that, makes a world of a difference to be able to go from 100% uh, juice into a lovely summer sangria that will, I'm telling you, it's going to absolutely impress your guests. And don't forget to make your stars with the apples, too. So cute. Thank you so much for being here. So I know people are extremely interested in finding out more about your recipes and you uh, where can they go to find out more about you well my name is George Duran so it's georgeduran.com they're all there thank you so much all right we're gonna chow down and have a drink let's do it <laughs> we'll be right back <laughs>